Alleluia, Christ is risen. Alleluia. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known. From you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, who by the hand of Mark the Evangelist has given to your church the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we thank you for this witness and pray that we may be firmly grounded in its truth through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your sentinels lift up their voices, together they sing for joy. For in plain sight they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thank Thanks be to God. God. The appointed psalm is Psalm 2. And we will be praying verses 7 through 10. The psalm may be found on page 586. And we will pray it in unison. Let me announce the decree of the Lord. He, he said, said to, to me, me, you are, you are my son. son. This day have I begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall crush them with an iron rod and shatter them like a piece of pottery. And now, you kings, be wise. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Submit to the Lord with fear. And with, and with trembling fear, bow and before fear. him, lest he be angry and you perish. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it is said, when he ascended on high, he made captivity itself a captive. He gave gifts to the people. The gifts he gave were that some would be apostles, some prophets, 
some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until all of us come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to maturity, to the measure of the full stature of Christ. We must no longer be children tossed to and fro and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness and deceitful scheming. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way to, into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knit together by every ligament with which it is equipped, as each part is working properly, promotes the body's growth in building itself up in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to be God. God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, you, to Lord you, Lord Christ. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. And the Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness 40 days, tempted by Satan. And he was with the wild beasts. And the angels waited on him. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord you, Christ. Christ. You may be seated. I just am so glad that we can celebrate today the Gospel of St. Mark, which um, has been attributed to St. Mark. I, I have learned it, it was written Scholars think it was written right after the destruction of the Second Temple in 70 A.D. Some think a little before that, little, most think a little after. Mark's Gospel is a, 
is the shortest one, and it's, I think of it as the fastest paced one. It just, like we heard a little of that just now, the first few verses, you cover a lot of ground. Um, I think there's something bold and fresh about it that's really delightful. And I just love this idea that we, I love that we have received this good news and that it comes to us as a gift to, to give us healing and restoration despite what we have screwed up or done wrong in our lives. Um, that it comes to us as renewal. We're invited not to cling to our pasts, but to receive the good that God has in store for us. Our colleague says it's so nice. We thank you for the, the witness of the gospel of Mark, and we pray that we may be firmly grounded in its truth. Well, what a good thing to pray and to invite to happen for ourselves. May it be so. Amen. Let us affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Before we go to our prayers of the people, I would just like to say that um, I got a call this morning that a longtime member of this parish who's no longer a member um, is dying probably today. Uh, I visited, his name is Larry. I visited him this morning and, and uh, prayed with him and anointed him with oil and the Spirit. And uh, I would like us to keep him in prayer for our service today. Prayers of the people. We'll use form one, found on page 383. With all our heart, with all our mind, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the world, for the welfare of the Holy Church of God, and for the unity of all peoples, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our bishop and for all clergy and people, we especially pray for Michael Curry, presiding bishop, Prince Singh, bishop provisional, Justin Welby, Archbishop of Canterbury, Reverend Rick Stravers, priest of St. Thomas, 
the Diocese of Salakot in the United Church of Pakistan, Trinity Church of Lexington, Denise Cornerwitz, Senior Warden, Christ Church of Charlevoix, Tom O'Dell, the Rector. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our president, for the leaders of all nations, and for all in authority, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this, our city of Battle Creek, and for every city and community, and for those who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather and for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the good earth which God has given us and for the wisdom and will to conserve it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the aged and infirm, for the widowed and orphans, and for those sick and suffering, we especially pray for Larry, Jamie, Darcel, Rita, A. Jones, Marco, Tom, Judy, Gus, Emmy, Chloe, Anne, Rich, Nicholas, Georgia, Mary, Anna, Marilyn, Terry, John, Kathy, Chad, Emmett, those from Sudan. Are there others? Let us pray to the Lord. For those celebrating birthdays and anniversaries today and throughout the week, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the poor and the oppressed, for the unemployed and the destitute, for prisoners and captives, and for all who remember and care for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have died in the hope of the resurrection, and for all the departed, we especially pray for Kupo, Dave Kellogg, Valerie, Jane, are there others? Stacy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance from all danger, violence, oppression, and degradation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may end our lives in faith and hope, without suffering, without reproach, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In the communion of St. Thomas and of all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. Lord our God. Almighty God, by your Holy Spirit, you made us one with your saints in heaven and on earth, including with St. Mark. Grant that in our earthly pilgrimage we may always be supported by this fellowship of love and prayer, and that we may know ourselves to be surrounded by their witness to your power and mercy. We ask this for the sake of Jesus Christ, in whom all our intercessions are acceptable through the Spirit, and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, 
that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace be with you, Keith. Peace be with you, Robert. Peace be with you, Miles. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. For in the multitude of your saints, you have surrounded us with a great cloud of witnesses that we might rejoice in their fellowship and run with endurance the race that is set before us and together with them receive the crown of glory that never fades away. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy 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 Lord, Lord, God God of power power and and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, 
you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, Bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. Alleluia. The gifts of God for the people of God, take them in remembrance that Christ died and was raised for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The cup of salvation. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Keith, I lay my hands upon you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, beseeching him to uphold you and fill you with his grace that you may know the healing power of his love. Amen. I anoint you with this oil in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray the prayer after communion on page 365. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm remembering our, our uh, brother Larry, I'd like to just sing the blessing, a blessing for a minute in, for all of us and for Larry. The Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's loving face shine upon you and bring you peace and bring you joy. The blessing of the Lord be upon you. I bless you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit who loves you. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. alleluia.